Hey guys, I wanted to give one more little video today and then I'll shut up and let y'all enjoy y'all's day. <laughs> uh, you know, there's something that uh, that struck a nerve. You know, yesterday uh, I made a post about uh, coaching and teaching and all that uh, because uh, Mr. Hardy made a video, a, a, a post about it. And so there was uh, a girl that was uh, pretty rude to me, which, you know, I'm I'm a little bit thin skinned, so uh, it, you know, really kind of hurt my feelings. But anyway, my point being is uh, with coaches and mentors, you know, a lot of guys just watch these people on here on Facebook and on YouTube and, and then just follow them without really, without really knowing who they are or what their history is. I've tried to, to make a few posts about my history and, and what I've done and where I've been. And, uh, you know, not, you need to align what you're, you know, what you're wanting to learn. In my opinion, you need to align that with what mentor or what uh, teacher that you're, you're trying to learn from. For instance, uh, if you're wanting to learn commercial sales or commercial stuff, I wouldn't be the guy to learn from because I don't do a lot of commercial sales. I mean, I do some and, and I feel confident when I do them, but the guy that does them all day every day is the guy that that's good at it. That's the guy you need to learn from, like Raymond Burke. Uh, you know, he knows commercial sales inside and out. That's that's what his 99% of his business is. Uh, I think it is anyway, 80% uh, at least. I mean, I, he's, every video he posts is of something ginormous. So, uh, you know, if you want to clean roofs, in my opinion, I would be the one. Uh, but not only, not only, you know, from the jobs we've done, but uh, in my opinion, you need to research who we are, uh, you know, what our history is, if we're successful or if we're not. And, and when I say successful, I mean successful in your opinion. Everybody's opinion of success is totally different. So, uh, you know, if you want to be successful, you know, you need to see, you need to search out people that are successful and learn from them. Uh, your type of success, you know. Uh, for instance, like me, I mean, I, I've only got one truck. And I don't want any more trucks. I mean, a lot of you guys know my story. Uh, you know, at one point I had a lot of, uh, or I had five transmission shops. I was involved in a tire business that had 13 locations. Uh, so I've had my share of employees. I mean, I've had up to 50 employees under me at, at one point, and I don't want employees anymore. I actually enjoy what I do. I mean, when I go out and clean a roof, I don't have to talk to anybody. Uh, I don't have to mess with it. I mean, I really enjoy it. I enjoy what I do. Uh, so my point being, if, if you're wanting to, to learn how to grow a company, I mean, obviously I can help you, but not really in this industry. You know, you'd need to reach out to get help from someone that, like Patrick Clark, that's got a bunch of locations, somebody that's, that's successful in growing this type of industry. Uh, you know, there's uh, fine guys that line up with what you're wanting to learn and then again research their success find out what they how successful they are at what they do and how long they've done it you know there's a lot of new guys in this industry that that are sharp and I learn something new from new guys all the time uh, but you know if they if they've only been doing it for a few months or even a couple of years you know their 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 success is is somewhat short you know typically uh, they say in business if if you haven't been in business five years you really you're still in the honeymoon stage you don't know you really don't know if you're gonna make it or not uh, obviously there's a lot of guys out there that's headstrong and they know they're gonna make it <laughs> you know I'm the type of guy I'm gonna make it I don't care what I have to do and there's a lot of other guys like that but my point being is how can you learn how to be successful in your business from someone that hasn't been successful in their business yet? Uh, they might have a lot of great ideas and I'm, you know, you need to take those great ideas, obviously, but uh, you know, you need to find somebody that's been in business long enough with some history so that you're following the right template. I mean, you know, you know, if you follow the wrong template, then you know, you're, you're just spinning your wheels, you're wasting your time, your money, uh, and your enthusiasm. There's nothing worse than being enthusiastic and then, you know, following the wrong template and then things going bad. And I mean, that for a lot of people that could crush them, you know, financially and spiritually. So, 
you know, make sure you follow the right guy. Find somebody with some history like Patrick or Raymond or, uh, you know, and there's, there's actually like Ron Musgraves. Uh, there's a lot of guys in this industry and I can't come up with their names right off the top of my head. I can barely remember my name most of the time, but uh, there's a lot of guys in this entry industry that's been doing it a long time. That's got a lot of good history that you can, uh, you know, you can have confidence in what they're telling you. Um, I've been in business for eight years in this industry, but I've been in business uh, since I was, I owned my first business when I was 17. I've probably owned 15 different businesses. I've built up and sold or traded or, uh, closed or went broke or just something you know so i mean i can tell you what to do and what not to do uh in business so i've been and i'm 47 now so i've been in it for a long time but you know again my 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 idea of success might not be your idea of success some people's idea uh, idea of a success is having 15 trucks and if that's the case find a guy with 15 trucks and and ask him how he did it and what he's doing and what's working for him uh you know, vet who you're learning from. That's the number one thing that I want to I want to get out there is vet who you're learning from. Uh, I tell my customers the exact same thing. When they're pri getting pricing from me and then I know they're gonna do price shopping, I tell them that's fine and you're smart for doing that. I do that every time I buy something. I vet who I'm buying from. But, so, you, I mean, you need to vet. You need to make sure that if you're getting your roof cleaned by someone, this is not their first roof. This is, and it's hard for the new guys. Uh, so you have to step up your game on, on that kind of situation and really put the sales uh, you know, to them. But you know, you need to call around and make sure the guy you're hiring is not, you know, a, a uh, you know, wasn't on the news yesterday for being a thief or a child rape or a molester or whatever the case may be. You need to make sure and vet who you're getting your work done from. Uh, and the same way in this industry, make sure that you vet who you're going to learn from and look at their history, see how long they've been in business, see how successful they are and see if it aligns with your idea of success. So I'll quit rambling. You guys have a great day. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And uh, as always, I'm here to help you guys in any way I can. So uh, reach out if I can do that. Have a good one.